Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sorry that it's taking me so long to do this review on Beauty Con Texas. Um, had a minor mishap happen to me. Um, those of you who know, well, I have a bad back pretty much. I have a herniated and bulging disc. Sunday, hopped back in the car, headed back home, bringing in the suitcases, and my big boy, Wookie. I think some of you have seen um, pictures of him on Instagram. If not, I will put one right here. Yes, that is my boy. And um, he got out. He never does that, never. But husband was able to get him to come towards me. And when he did, he just rammed into me, bypassed me, and knocked me down. The rest of the week <laughs> really, really affected me. It felt like I was in a car accident. Let us get into my little spiel, my little experience at BeautyCon. I, I don't want to be cruel. I don't want to be mean, but I'm going to be truthful. I was disappointed. Second tier was the pro ticket, and that was $125 which is the one that I received. And with that, I got Expedition Line Pass so I could get in at 9.30, a limited edition Beauty Con t-shirt, which I'm wearing right now and I'll show you in a bit, and a gift bag filled with products. This is the bag, okay? And I think it's cute, again, you know, Beauty Con Texas, girl with the cowboy hat, can't go wrong with that. The first thing that comes in it, and this is full size, it is a Shea Moisturizer Super Fruit Complex Body Lotion with Mango Butter and Coffee Bean Extract. Next is a Tweezer Man Finishing Contour Brush. If I could get it out, that's what this looks like. And, I mean, I'm cool with the brush. I don't, I mean, who wouldn't be cool with a free makeup brush? Mm, crazy. It's a makeup brush. A style haul nail file and again cool with this always me nail files argon oil of Morocco miracle in shower gel I am NOT <laughs> I mean a uh, oil and water that's like an accident waiting to happen for me seriously I can see myself falling in the shower by using this and shoelaces they gave us shoelaces at a beauty event. This I don't understand. $10 off American Apparel. Again, not beauty related. Murad Hydrating Toner. And of course this is sample size. And this is where I'm like, seriously, I paid $125. Why could I not have received a full size? This is from Julep. Oxygen Nail Treatment. And I'm okay with this. I mean, I do stuff to my nails. This is a QVC box that they gave us in the bag. And QVC was one of the main sponsors for BeautyCon. Inside is a travel size pack cleansing conditioner in cucumber aloe. And of course, because I'm using one now, I'm a wet girl. Mm. Sorry, I had to do that. But... I'm cool with this because I've been using Wen. Tarte Lights Camera Lashes in a sample size. Again, I don't understand why this couldn't have been in a full size. I mean, granted, I have this already, but for those who don't, it would have been nice to give a full size. From Philosophy, this is Miracle Worker, a miraculous anti-aging moisturizer. The last item is a t-shirt. This is the t-shirt. It is the BeautyCon logo. So that's the gift bag. $125 gift bag. I'm, I guess I was expecting more, but again, you guys let me know what y'all think. My cons about BeautyCon, first off, I was supposed to get in at 9.30 because of my pro ticket. I did not get in until, or actually they did not start letting people in 
until about 10 15. and then by the time you got in there the, everything was going so slow to get your gift bag another thing that bothered me is that there was no wi-fi none whatsoever so you kept seeing people trying to post things on their phone and there was nothing i mean with all the money that you received for those tickets i think you could have you know dished out a little bit just to get free wi-fi for that day or not even for that day just for her, the time that beauty con is going on um so people could go ahead and post on instagram and vine and facebook and twitter Everybody was complaining that they could not do that. Another thing that was kind of like uh, about the convention was the panels. Let me give you, a, let me tell you what pan, what the panels were. This one was pretty cool. Lights, camera, create a digital how-to. Uh, tips and tricks on creating digital content from YouTube to Vine and Instagram directly from your favorite influen influencers. The next panel was beautiful inside and out. Even though they film weekly fashion lookbooks and post snapshots of their favorite makeup looks, there's more to these influencers than fashion and beauty. I, I, I don't know. I mean, really. Uh, girl problems. Ever wanted advice from your favorite YouTuber or Vine or like in real life? Well, today's your lucky day. Our Beauty Con Texas panelists answer your everyday problems and give advice on how to make it through high school, how to handle bullying, talk to your crushes, and more. What does that have to do with beauty? I, I, I don't understand. This one was pretty cool. This one was one that I really wanted to get to, building a brand. Uh, what's it like to have a million followers and still go to junior high or high school? Listen to a few of your favorite Beauty Con Texas teens. Share what it's like to grow up in a digital age where we're in front of the camera on a daily basis and how they had their names made for themselves online. That one was really cool from what I could hear. So, I mean, because there was these girls in front of us that just kept yelling and screaming because what is his name I can remember who was on that panel Tanner and they just kept screaming and screaming and screaming and I couldn't hear what was going on the next panel was BFFs in real life it's pretty much what it was YouTube best friends on a panel talking about how they met and yeah that was it you know and for someone who is trying to grow a channel and trying to get the my content out there and trying to better myself on YouTube, I was expecting different panels. I was expecting panels that were going to help and give advice on how to build and how to go about taking it from a tiny channel to, you know, like what I have, 170 something subscribers to making it bigger. And none of the panels were like that. I watch YouTube. I, I, this is pretty much how it is on a daily basis where my TV's right here and it's off. I don't really watch it. I am on the computer watching YouTube and looking at content and trying to learn different techniques and learn about other people and watch them. But some of these people that they got, I had never heard of. And I, I'm granted, I know that they're big because afterwards I did look them up. As I'm laying in bed and not able to do anything, I did look up these people. And I did see that, you know what, they do have great content. But I guess I would have appreciated having, how do I say this? Not to sound rude, but adults. Maybe blend in some adults on that stage. Some of those who are in their 20s, in their 30s, put them on there. So 
you could give that advice and information and when we ask a question you'll be able to give it to us and we'd be like gotcha now i know what to do thank you so much for your help there were four people that i truly truly wanted to meet at beauty con texas first one was lex from made you look second one was bunny from graveyard girl third was candy johnson and fourth was charis char i'm sorry my tongue is all tongue tied here was charis from christmas star i got to meet three out of four really wanted to meet candy johnson but i didn't but who was able to replace that little love was mac daddy so i was able to meet mac daddy and um the person that really took the time to speak to me and was just so awesome was Lex and I mean what you see is what you get with her she's just awesome down to earth if you guys have never seen her channels I will make sure to put them in the comment box below it is made you look and made you look twice one is more sci-fi body paint and the other one is her beauty channel but she is just awesome i appreciated her taking the time to speak with me and you know all that stuff we, we even chatted on instagram after that in my mind i think i just built it up too much and maybe that's why i was disappointed but i'm trying to think of the pros the pros were i got makeup i got to meet some of my youtube peoples I'm not going to say that I won't go again because it was their first year. There's a lot of bugs to, you know, fix. There's a lot of wrinkles to iron out. I might go next year to see if it gets better and then truly make a decision on that and say, no, I'm not going to go to BeautyCon Texas anymore. I'd rather go ahead and go to IMAX or to Generation Beauty or I'm not too sure but I will give it a second chance I really will I'm just I was disappointed with this one really disappointed with this one and you know I I was able to hand out business cards I was able to make connections even though I was disappointed with the panels, I was able to gain subscribers uh, from the beauty, the business cards that I was passing out. I, I'm like everyone else. I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm trying to get my content out there. And with conventions like these, that is the perfect opportunity for us to learn, for us smaller channels and for us beginners to learn. And if they're not giving us the opportunity to do that, don't call yourself a convention because I've been to many conventions and this was not a convention. This was a meet and greet. But that is enough of my ranting. I'm sure you're like, girl, shut up already. We get it. You didn't like it. Yes, I know. I was not a happy puppy. And I wanted to be a happy puppy. If you have anything that you'd like for me to review or if you have any video suggestions, please leave me a comment down below or on any of my other pages. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please click that little button down below. Please give me a thumbs up if you did like this video. Also, please remember that I do have a blog, ChrissyEsparza.com. I also have a Facebook, a Twitter, a Pinterest, and an Instagram. All those links can be found down below. Thank you guys so much for visiting my channel. Until next time, te amo. Bye.